in March of 2020, New York City was the epicenter of the coronavirus pandemic. And in Manhattan's Chinatown, community members experienced it twice over. Not just with the disruptions caused by the virus, but with the racism and xenophobia that surfaced alongside it, sometimes manifesting in violence. It was an incredibly difficult year for this mostly immigrant community, but a new movement emerged among the younger generation, first and second generation Asian Americans who rallied around a newfound pride in their culture and their heritage and used social media to amplify their message. This is the story of Chinatown, Generation Next. find yourself lost in New York City's Manhattan Chinatown, look for these two. Anna Huang and Chloe Chan are the Mod Street Girls. They give walking tours of the historic neighborhood, highlighting the small businesses that make it so unique. They used to be volunteer tour guides at a local Chinese American history museum, but when the pandemic shut down its operations, they decided to hit the streets. When we first started Mod Street Girls, honestly, we just missed giving tours, so we just focused on like, you know, doing these walking tours, but as we did more and more walking tours, we realized that sometimes even the locals don't know their own history. There were anti-Asian hate crimes back in, in the 1980s or the 1800s, right? And it's happening again. We noticed that a lot of Chinatown walking tour guides were not necessarily from the community, and so we felt that us being second generation Chinese Americans, we wanted to tell our own story from our own perspective. We have a voice, right? We're storytellers. We want to amplify the community. It's been a hit on Instagram. In just two years, their stories and photos of local Chinatown businesses have garnered 14,000 followers. We're trying to uplift like these older small businesses that might not be as tech savvy, that might not know social media. Us being like millennials, like we know how to use Instagram, we know how to use like Twitter, you know, so we can help raise awareness about their story, right? And like use our platform to advocate for them. But in a neighborhood that's become increasingly gentrified, striking a balance between old and new can be tricky. Chances the two can coexist. There are a lot of new businesses that are coming to the community that might not necessarily serve like the elderly working class community. But I think it's also important to remember that Chinatown is a tourist destination, right? That is how it can survive is through like the foot traffic, through like tourist spending money. And while some of Chinatown's oldest businesses have survived generations, Huang says family ownership wasn't always the objective. They start the shop so then they can have like a safety net for their family, right? But as their children grow up, right, they want them to chase the quote-unquote American dream. Creating Mod Street Girls has given both a chance to reflect on their own lived experiences. I struggle with both identities, being Chinese and being American. And my mother decided to put in Chinese dance because she was like, well, you have to be uh, cultured in some way in Chinese culture. I think starting Mod Street Girls, I realized like it's so important to identify with my Chinese culture, but also I am American. That hyphen is important. I am Chinese American and there's no denying that. It's a duality that makes the stories and representation of this community all the richer.